Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So it's good to be back recording this video. Um, been through a lot this couple of days, but uh, we'll go straight to the point here. So we have here is Caged Flower uh, going through Enraged Soul. So as you can see, guys, we are here at the Pride Scavenger. So this is a kind of a puzzle event or mini event for a short duration. So I've already cleared easy hard and torment level so i'm gonna teach you guys or gonna give you guys a suggestions on lineups on how to do this and also on placement so we'll start first with the easy part so for the easy one objective is um achieve victory deals the most damage with xanta kane use use xanta kane to defeat all three figurines so let's go proceed Okay, so this this was actually my this is actually the the suggested lineup. So what do you do is um, where do I place Xanta Kane? So the the most uh, optimal position for her is going to be at the back part because she will be giving a lot of damage, and starting with this fellow with this dragon here going down here so this is easy um i don't think this will be a big deal in terms of you guys um doing three stars or three three icons to complete this one so let's look at how this is going to be finished so as you can see there first one is about to be down then going to the second one, in the middle. Middle part, about to be done. Then the last one is going to be that one below. So as I see, Xanta Kane has actually big uh, sustained damage. So then we're good. Okay. So off to the next level. So as you, as you can see here, all three objectives achieved. Okay, so we proceed to hard. So hard is, here are the target's objectives. Achieve victory, deal most damage, resent the of course. And the most difficult part of this one is going to be um, clearing the stage within 25 seconds. So I was able to clear this one, but did a lot of trial and error. So let's proceed to the battle. Okay, so placements, options. What are your options? First would be Santa Kane. Uh, preferably, she's going to be on top to be clearing the first dragon upstairs. So she's going to be here. Um, I would also suggest that you put uh, uh, what you call it? Zalor at the back. I'll put Zephyr here for healing, of course. Then put a tank in front. Preferably Megan because she's the she's the tankiest and here this one this position is going to be crucial for you guys because this position is going to need a damage dealer a lot of uh, dealing a lot of damage and I think Yuna fits the bill uh, right in front of Xanta Kane. Okay, so let's try this out. So you need to take out the first uh, dragon up up there, then move down, of course, to Crusos. Yuna actually does a lot of damage. That is why she is needed to deal or dispatch that dragon, then go to Crusos, then the last dragon downstairs. So take note that your time started in one minute. So we need to end this battle by... 35 seconds so this is going to be close guys as you can see we're at 37 35 <laughs> right on the dot so as you can see here all three stages or all three objectives achieved okay so we are here with the last uh, last stage this is already torment um this is probably the most difficult to do so let's move on to the battle so as you can see, Xanta Kane is there. She is in a special zone. Uh, energy regen and ultimate power um, increase. So she that's their, her that's her right position there. Then you should put somebody who is specialized as well in single, you know, single damage to a an opponent. Which is Akechi, then 
um, again, my preference for high damage because you need to take the boss out, which is this girl. Um, she really packs a punch um, in terms of, um, you know, she can kill you in one, you know, one sweep. So you have to take her out first. Okay, so Yuna, I'm going to be placing here. Then it is, it should be your, you know, uh, objective to also put two healers in your team put them on each side then i think we're ready to go okay guys so the goal of this stage is to try to eliminate the boss as early as possible if you fail in eliminating the boss uh using this lineup try it again just repeat because sometimes the rng is different and sometimes the damages are different as well so it's good that I was able to defeat the boss at this point. So I'm actually using Yuna. Um, if you want, you could experiment on other, you know, other figures uh, to replace Yuna. But again, if uh, you fail to defeat the stage, just try the stage again because again, RNG will be a main factor in defeating that boss as quick as possible. Okay, guys, so that is it for um, Pride Scavengers. So hopefully you guys got got um, some tips in those formations and more or less you can clear the stages up to three star already. Okay, guys, so thank you very much for staying this far. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please um, consider it because this helps my channel a lot. Also, guys, don't forget to click that uh, bell icon and put a like to this video. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.